question I get asked a lot is if the Earth is spinning, why don't planes travel faster in one direction than the other? But they do though. At least within the US, it generally takes longer to fly from east to west than west to east due to the effects of the jet stream. Let's talk about it. Let's say the main rubber core of this tennis ball represents Earth, <laughs> and then the green fuzz represents the atmosphere, the fuzz, so then really? out here is space. Now let's pretend there's a flea right here on the ball. That represents our plane, and the drag that slows the plane down, well that's represented by all the green annoying fuzz that the flea has the to atmosphere. crawl And because it slows him down, that means it takes a full minute for him to crawl all the way around. Now what if I slowly spin the ball? Then how long will it take to flee? I mean, now I get what he's saying, viewing the Earth and its atmosphere as one interconnected system, kind of like the reactor and its reactor pressure vessel, but the Coriolis effect influences the jet stream. Take the same amount of time whether the ball is spinning or not, right? And that's because the fuzz rotates with the tennis ball just like the Earth's atmosphere rotates with the Earth. So In a static system and you're neglecting the effects of wind, sure. No matter which way your plane flies, you could be going this way or this way, or even how fast the Earth spins for that matter. Ooh, no. If you increase the Earth's spin by a factor of five, you're gonna have all kinds of crazy super storms that it's gonna be a pain to fly in. Atmosphere moves with the Earth and slows you down all the same. So does, but not all the same. 